already found an uh, inter, uh, interview article that says uh, some contract alliance should consider a bad contract. The Pistons should consider taking on uh, for a first round pick this year. Now, I'm not sure first round pick is the ticket for the Pistons this year, um, but I don't think it can hurt uh, an additional one, you know, because I feel like if they don't get a top two or three pick, in a draft, uh, I feel like, I mean, even if it's Scoot Henderson, you might have to move on from him or move somebody else um, for a known commodity. That's what I'm calling it, a player or whatever, or whatever. But, yeah, let's say you move a pick. It's not the number you want. Draft lottery is uh, Tuesday, which by the time y'all see this probably would be Tuesday. And, you know, because you move, you know, you know, you're not get where you want to be. I think most Piston fans feel like the NBA don't like them and they're going to mess us over again. Um so if it's two, it's three, four, five. Well, lowest they can go is five. Um, you know, if they trade that pick for a known commodity, uh, let's say they do, and they want to get back in the first round and get a guy they like. So let's take a look at it. Bad contract that Detroit Pistons could take on for a first round pick. So say you do move the pick, or you really like another prospect, you want to get back into the first round. Uh, they got a lot of young guys, but then again. Like I said in my other video, you can't ignore you can't ignore the young talent. You know, just because you need to win right now, you still gotta think about it. So it's Gordon Hayward. Um, he can shoot though, but you already know you can't uh trust him. He said a former all-star, Gordon Hayward, will be in the last year of a four-year one twenty million dollar contract next year. Uh, Hayward make up $31.5 million next season. It could be a player that Charlotte Hornets want to move to acquire cap space to build around the middle of ball. The Hornets own their first around uh, picks in 24 and 25, plus a plethora of young players that could interest the Pistons. Gordon Hayward field a position of need, a veteran wing who could provide playmaking and shooting. The Pistons could maybe uh, look to trade uh, Hayward uh, at the day of line if they do mill for him next year. So, um problem with this is you don't depend um you don't depend on Gordon Hayward. That's the problem. So we doing this, we just doing this to maybe if he stay healthy, showcase him and flip him at the deadline, try to get something and get cash space. Only to only the only reason you consider doing this is because you can't woo any free agents to Detroit. That's the only reason you you consider doing this. If you can't consider a Cam Johnson to come here, you can't get Przingis to come here. You know what I'm saying? If you can't get those guys to come to Detroit, this is the only reason you you consider doing this, right? Um, but you're not counting on Gordon Hayward to come in and give you anything, you know, because you know he can't stay healthy. This is just a cap move. You hope to showcase him. Um, you get hope to get a first round pick. Showcase him and turn him into a, and turn turn the first turn Gordon Hayward to a little bit more than getting the first round pick for taking on the contract because you know the Hornets really uh they really do need um they really do need to move him so they can build around Lamelo. I suspect that Lamelo was leaving anyway. That's just what I would suspect. He was getting to a bigger market, um, and they don't you know Michael Jordan is known that he ain't committed to winning down there. And he could be selling the team. So that could give him a potential out um, as well. So um, Gordon Hayward, if he could stay healthy, give some shooting on the, on the wing. But I wouldn't count on it. Kyle Lowry and Duncan Robinson. It says the Miami Heat are in the win-now mode. Um, Jimmy Butler, Bam out of bio. So looking to move a contracts like Kyle Lowry and Duncan Robinson would be big for them. Kyle Lowry being the final year of his contract. Being paid around $30 million a year. Duncan Robinson has fallen out the heat rotation mostly. He has been playing the playoffs a little bit. He do had an 18 overall draft uh this a pick this year, but then would not be wouldn't have an available first uh pick to trade until late 2020s. So if Miami wants to make an all-in move this offseason, then maybe the Pistons could be waiting in the wings and uh on a contract that the Heat would want to get off the books, and they probably want to get off a couple of them joints. So um you know, they might end up moving one of them late contracts. Now, if I had to take one, it would be uh, Duncan Robinson because he can shoot. He's a defensive liability, so you don't want to put him in a lineup uh, with Bojanovic uh, not too long. That would be the only bad thing about it. But, um, yeah, cause coming off the bench, specialists, I think that would be a good fit. Um, put him around some good defenders. 
just in case. But yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind it. Kyle Lowry. Yeah, no, I'm good. I mean, he'd be a good mentor, but I mean, I wouldn't mind either one, but I will prefer Duncan Robson. FYI. All right, Tobias Harris, who played in Detroit years ago. Um, the Pistons, Detroit, the Detroit Pistons may not be able to acquire a first round pick for 76 or Tobias Harris. Will be a great contract to take on. Philly decides to move on. Harris will be in the final year of his contract where he'll make a whopping $39 million. If there is a free agent that interests the 76ers, they could look to uh to move off his contract, making the Pistons interest in trade partner. The former Pistons would provide three-point shooting and scoring boost for Detroit. Uh, Harris could be a player. The Pistons could uh, look to trade the trade day line, day line if he produced in the first half. Um, Tobias is solid, man. You told in this scenario, you wouldn't be getting the first, you would just be taking on the contract um, for lower compensation so they can go make moves in free agency. So, um, yeah, he's my modern four. I mean, solid can shoot, you know, wooden defender, um, has some deep playoff experience. I mean, to fill a need if you don't get Victor Walla Banana, well, he can play the three too. So, um, I still would prefer Cam Johnson over him. Um, but then again, all these are predicated on if the Pistons, um, if the Pistons can't get somebody to sign a free agency, these are secondary moves that you looking to make. So if you can't get guys to sign a free agency, these are the moves you're looking to make. Yusuf Nurkic, um, at this point in the season, Portland will look to get back into contention. Question is, you know, includes their current center use of Nurkic. 28 has not been bad for Portland. He's just been able to stay healthy and question uh will fit next to Dame Lillard. The Pistons do have a preference of Dame Lillard going anywhere. Big man, but will be taking on Nurkic's contract be worth the first round pick uh in the process. The Trailblazers uh in the first uh acquired first round pick in the Josh Hart trade, making that very valuable trade chip this offseason. I, I just think they they they're probably gonna just blow it up. Um and that's going to be what it is. So Nurkic don't feel what we're doing, but they're going to blow it up. So it don't even matter. They're going to be acquiring them first round picks. And that's what they're going to be doing out of, out of them. Tobias Harris, Kyle Lowry, Duncan Robinson, um, Gordon Hayward. I wouldn't be opposed to any of them um, for the reasons I, I named. But then again, you just can't, um, in my opinion, you just, uh, it got to be if I can't get free agents. That's what it got to be. If I can't acquire free agents, um, then that's what it is. I can't acquire free agents. Um, so we got to make a move. So, yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist for more videos like this. Hit the uh, link tree for me on uh, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Uh, financially one support the channel cash app dollar sign cj good 313 venmo cj good 313 paypal link in the description hit the link tree find me on twitter instagram spotify anchor cash app venmo paypal appreciate the love and support one time for the one time mercy sports talk check out the trip piss and talk playlist for more videos like this peace